Hey everyone, so this is my first outfit of the day video. Um, I've had a few requests for this. Um, I th think just people want to know me better and um, I've been putting it off really just because I haven't got a video cam. I still haven't so I'm doing this on my MacBook and hopefully it'll, it'll work out okay. Um, I've decided to do this video today just because since arriving in Hong Kong I have been beyond ill and this must be the first day where I've actually made an effort to put something coordinated on and not go out in something that resembles my pyjamas. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to start now first with what I've got on my face. I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, skincare at the moment. I've got my Rimmel Primer on, um, Clarin Skin Illusions Liquid Foundation in Sand, um, I think L'Oreal Powder Blush, I think it's in Rose Petal. Um, I'm not sure, I'll have all this down in my description box anyway. For my eyes, I've got uh, the Benefit Browsing, um, Dolly Wink eyeliner in black, liquid eyeliner, the Maybelline gel shadow in BR1 and the Heroin Make um, lock Curl and lock Lengthening Mascara. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I've also got a concealer on and it's the MAC, I think it's a Studio Fix one. Anyway, that's it about my makeup and this is what I've got on. Okay. Right, I've got these um, leggings on. It's half shiny leather at the front and normal leggings material at the back. And these are really, really comfortable. These were from ASOS and I can't remember how much they are. For my legs, feet, I've got these um, riding boots and they're from Aldo and I've got these buckle details up here and also down at the ankle here and these are so comfortable um, I've been living off these I forgot to bring my Uggs which I'm really disappointed about and these are really comfortable I think these are 110 or 120 pounds but I, they are really worth it for my top half I've got a string vest on and this is from, it's a navy blue and it's from Primark. It's a thermal one, so they're really comfortable. I think these are six pounds. Uh, this is just a long sleeve vest and this is from River Island, I think. And again, super comfortable and I think these are, I think these were 10 pounds, maybe 15. And finally, I've got this jacket, which I brought here in Hong Kong from H&M. And um, I just love this jacket. I love the length, it just sits here. And um, I love the small details as well. For example, the extra leather bit they have here off the zip, um, the zip buttons, the side zip here and the big collar. So I love this. It's a full leather and um, it was 399 Hong Kong dollars, which is probably around 35 pounds. And um, yeah, but I love this look. I think it's okay. So accessory wise, I haven't got anything special on. I've just got the um, a normal turquoise stud earrings, which are the ones that I put on that, that were used to pierce my ears up here um, from Claire's Accessories and these uh, silver hooped ones are also from Claire's and this black thicker one here is from um, City Super and I bought these a couple of years back um, when I visited Hong Kong um, my wedding band um, my Cartier watch again I got that a few years ago um, bracelet wise, these are what I generally wear and never really take off. It's my J bracelet, which was a present from my mother-in-law. And 
this was hell getting it on. My hand was bruised for days after putting this on. So I'm never going to take that off. Um, a gold bracelet, which was a wedding present from my in-laws. And those that know Chinese gold knows they're really soft. So opening and closing the clasp itself isn't a good idea. And also my Pandora bracelet, which I got a couple of years back as well. And again, the clasp is really difficult to take on and off, um, especially with the amount of charms I've got on there. So like I said, these just stay on my wrist all the time. And um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if it's worth me doing other outfit of the day videos, just randomly here and there. Um, my next video will probably be a review on the Clarins Skin Illusions Foundation because I've had a few requests for that. And um, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.